everybody, it's Pixie Dave from Bump Fast Anglers, and today I want to do a review for you of the Casio. I know it's upside down right now. This is the Casio Pro Trek WSD F30. So, a uh, couple months ago, a few months ago, back in uh, July, it was at iCast, Casio invited me to check out their watch. And they worked with Fishbrain and built the Fishbrain app to run on the watch using Wear OS. So they invited us out, they gave us all watches and uh, took us fishing and uh, gave us a subscription to the Fishbrain app to uh, use with the phone. So I'm gonna go over th I'm gonna go over the watch real fast. I mean the watch has been out since last year, I think it was last fall it came out last September or November. Uh, real quick, the watch is, is awesome. It's a Casio, it's not like your standard uh, Samsung or Apple Watch, which, you know, they're pretty, they're fashionable, but they break easily. I've seen a lot of people with, with crack glass on them. Casio has a reputation of building durable watches. You know, they make the G-Shock and they use that technology in this watch. Uh, so they've been doing it for years. They know how to make watches. So as far as the build of this watch, it is incredible. It's water resistant to 50 meters. Um, it's got a dual layer screen. So one layer is monochrome LCD and another layer is full color OLED. So for all your, your, you know, your full color apps and your map and all that stuff is the OLED. And for certain, uh, certain things, the LED screen is just used for keeping time. So uh, they have different modes and they can extend the battery. And they extend the battery by putting the phone in monochrome mode. And supposedly it can last over a week if it's a monochrome mode. So let's say you go outdoors and you're hiking and checking stuff out. You don't have access to technology. You probably don't have access to a charger. So you can turn the phone to this special mode and your phone will keep the battery power all week. So it's like, it's like an old school Casio, you know, the old school Casio, uh, not phones, but watches, the old school Casio watches, you can run those things forever and never have to change the battery. You never used to have, a char have to charge a Casio. You would wait till the battery died and then you'd replace the battery. Well, this uh, monochrome mode lets you run the watch longer than you would in normal mode. But we want to use all the, you know, the cool features, all the smartwatch features. So we, we want to run the full color screen. We want to see the GPS map. And obviously we want to use Fishbrain. So Fishbrain. You've used Fishbrain, I'm sure, or you've heard about it. And what I found is that Fishbrain is the most awesome tool you can use for researching the bodies of water that you've never fished. So there are several million catches logged in Fishbrain. I mean, the number just keeps going up. And this is all over the world. And when you pull up the, the map on Fishbrain, you can see catches in body wa bodies of water where you didn't even know fish existed. You just pull up the map, uh, hit, the, hit the GPS, or you know, put in your zip code or location or whatever in the area that you're out, and, and you could search these small bodies of water. Like, you know, you got your big popular lakes and your coastline, but there's small ponds and rivers everywhere, and you can actually see catches that people have logged in these areas. So you can say, oh, look at this pond. I always wanted to know if it had bass. Go to the pond, you can see the catches, you can see pictures, you can see how big the fish, you know, people were catching, all kinds of information. If you're looking for crappie, you know, yeah, there's crappie all over Massachusetts, but how do you target them? Where do you find them? Go to Fish Brain. You know, you want to see where people are catching stripers. All that information is on the screen. You can zoom in. You can see all the catches. You know, see pictures, see weights. You know, figure out the times of day when people caught the fish. All kinds of cool stuff. It's a great app, and I'm, I'm slapping myself for not using it before I met up with Casio. I've seen it. I think I had already created an account. But I really didn't utilize it like I should have. So a lot of people will go on Google Maps to research bodies of water. Well, Google Maps doesn't tell you what people are catching in those bodies of water. And a lot of times you go on places like Mash Fish Finder or uh, Fishity or other places online to figure out, you know, where people are catching fish. You're not going to get that much information, especially if people are hiding their, you know, their honey holes. Fish Brain tells you all that stuff. So it's awesome in that way. And what the fish brain company has done is they've miniaturized the fish brain app and put it into the watch so 
Here's the pros and the cons, okay? Watch has some great features. Uh, you can get different watch faces and things like that. Uh, it has a compass, it has a barometer, all kinds of cool stuff for the outdoorsman. Awesome. Fish Brain app, okay? The whole idea of the Fish Brain app is, unlike most angler type apps, you have to take out the phone and you have to log your catch in the app on the phone. A lot of times people don't have time to stop what they're doing, take their phone out of their pocket and type in all the information. So, the whole idea with the Fish Brain app on the, the Wear OS platform is you can talk into your microphone and you can log your catch. So typically you would go, okay Google, and then the microphone would come up. You gotta activate it first. Okay Google. Sorry, I don't understand. See, now here's the, this, you, <laughs> See, so here's the first problem. Here's the first con. So, I'm having trouble understanding. Please, please shut up. Your so, your watch is linked to your your phone through Bluetooth, but also the Google Assistant. In order to activate the microphone on the watch, you're supposed to go OK Google, and it brings up the microphone, and then you have to tell it to talk to Fish Brain. So you you go in and you say, talk to Fish Brain. And then it'll communicate with the fish brain app. And then it'll say, hey, welcome back. So you tell it, log a catch. And then you tell it, largemouth bass. And then you put in its weight. All that's great on paper, but I can tell you, the reason why it took me so long to do this review is I can never get this damn thing to log the catch using the voice. And it was, it was frustrating because there weren't really any instructions on how to do it. They basically said use Google Assistant to uh, talk to Fishbrain and log a catch. So I contacted uh, you know, the people at Fishbrain and Casio to figure out how to do this. Thank God they gave me some instruction on how to actually use the app using the voice. So I did it. The other problem is that it's, it doesn't always work. There are several times I'll look at my watch and I'll say, okay, Google and nothing will pop up on my watch. It just sits there. So, if you look, I don't know if you can see this or not, but by default, your watch sits in monochrome mode. So if you tap it, it'll switch to the face in OLED mode. You have to tap it first and then say, OK, Google, and, and then it comes up. But it doesn't always work, and that's the problem. So that's some of the cons of this, is you really can't, you can't be out on the water catching fish and then have to struggle with the watch to log your catch. So ultimately, you're going to be pulling out your phone anyway. And, and that, you'll need to unlock uh, your phone. Just, Sorry, I couldn't stop. Oh my goodness. So you're going to have to pull your phone out of your pocket anyway to log your catches. One of the cool things about Fish Brain, the actual app, is if you take a picture of your fish, or if you spend the whole day taking pictures of all your catches, and then you open up Fish Brain, Fish Brain's going to say, Whoa, I see that you've caught some fish, because it uses fish face detection to tell that you've put, you know, taken pictures of fish and put them on your phone. So it'll go through, it'll find all your recent fish pictures, and load them into Fish Brain, and then you can go ahead and start logging all your catches. You don't have to do them while you're fishing. You take out your phone, take the picture, put it in your pocket, keep it going. And on the way home, or once you get back home, or if you're eating dinner after a great day of fishing, pop fish brain open, and it'll find all your fish catches, and you can start logging. But you got to keep track of your sizes, you got to know all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. I love that. On the watch, some of the cool features on the watch, the watch comes with a built-in GPS. So you can find yourself anywhere on the world. It has a map. You can uh, open the map, and you can pinpoint where you are right now. I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright. Actually, let me take this off so you can see it. I don't know if you can see this. But you can see the map is up and running and it's pinpointing my location. It's pinpointing my location on the GPS. It's hard to focus because it's such a bright light, but you get, you get the idea. So the map is there. So you can use this for directions and all kinds of cool stuff. But this is just the regular map. When you open Fishbrain, Fishbrain has a map too. The good thing about Fishbrain, especially for you kayakers 
who don't have electronics on your kayaks, you pick up one of these watches and you load fish brain on it and you open the app on the phone and you got a map. So you can see where you are in the body of water. And the map updates as you are moving just like a fish finder would. So that's pretty awesome. Okay? And it also has bite times. So this, this app logs millions of catches all throughout the year. It logs those times. So when people log a catch in the fish brain, it logs the times. So it knows if you're at the Waltham side of Charles River, it knows that the average big, bat, big largemouth bass bite is going to be at 9 o'clock from all the data that is, it has obtained from all the, all the anglers that are using the app. So when you go there and you check bite times, it may tell you the best time for, for largemouth bass is 9, 9 a.m. And the best time for pickerel is 10 a.m. Now, to test this theory out, we, I took the watch out to Charles and we went to the Boston side and it said the largemouth bass bite was going to start at 9 a.m. By 9 a.m. we caught five largemouth bass. It was amazing. <laughs> so 9 a.m. hit, we had five bass in the boat. Now we were picking apart the shore and flipping all the cover. There was one big huge log sticking out of the water. I think we caught three bass just from that one spot. And I think it was between between 9 o'clock or between 8.30 and like 9.15 we, we had five bass in the boat. So the catch time was pretty accurate. And you figure if millions of people are putting all this data into the app over a period of years that it's got to be accurate. You build that much data up, you mine that much data, then your data is going to be accurate. So that was pretty cool. And for you striper fishermen, it also has a tide chart in it, so you can see the tides. So if you're one of these guys that likes to go down to like Cape Cod Canal and, and you know fish for stripers, usually you're going to have a tide chart on you. You're either going to go online or you're going to print it out. You're going to have some type of a tide chart because you want to know when the incoming and outgoing and slack tides are going to be because those are the you know important times to catch stripers. The Fish Brain app has the tide chart. You don't have to get online, you don't have to do anything, you just open Fish Brain on your watch and you click the tide chart and it'll show you exactly what the tide times are going to be. And, and I think that's pretty cool. That's another one of the pros of this watch. This watch will set you back about $530. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I don't, they did give us a free subscription for one year to Fish Brain. I don't know how much it costs, but it's really not that expensive. If you are an avid angler, that goes out every week and fishes, I advise you the best thing you could do, best money you could spend is on fish brain. And I'm not saying this because they gave it to us for free. I'm saying this because I've been using it since they gave it to us and it's really helped me understand some of the bodies of water that we've gone to. So check it out. It is a free app. You can get fish brain and start using it. If you like it, get the subscription, you'll get more data. If you don't like it, keep it anyway. It's a free app, it's great to post pictures on. You know, if you wanna log all your catches, it's great. Uh, I hope that Fish Brain is working to tweak the app on the watch more. I would like to be able to log catches, not by voice, but by, you know, tapping the screen. Maybe they should put a little something on the app where I could just tap the screen and log the catch that way. Uh, so I hope they're doing some updates. The watch itself is pretty dope. Comes in three colors, comes in blue and black, orange and black and black on black. It has somewhat of a carbon fiber uh, finish on the strap. This strap, you'll never need to replace the strap. It's it's super tough. Uh, it's, it's a nice strap. It fits wrists uh, from t very tiny to really thick. And it's just, it's made out of great material. You'll never have to worry about that. It's, it's just awesome. Um, you can get different watch faces online. It's, it's a pretty good package. It is a little high priced. Uh, it doesn't have a heart rate monitor or anything like that, but it does have some cool features. It does link into your phone through Bluetooth seamlessly, and uh, Wear OS is pretty cool. So check it out. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section. I know it's been a long time since I did retail therapy because we've been a bit busy fishing. Got some more videos for you, and uh, as we wind down and get to the fall, there'll be more retail therapy videos. We are still working on the Bubble Bass Tackle Box. Not an easy feat to create a tackle box. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of stuff to get that tackle box ready. 
So you should hear more about that in the coming weeks. And Steve from Texas, I need your address. Peace out.